Today we're going to add a figure to this art journal layout. Alright, here's my color palette and some simple tools. And this is the art journal layout that we're going to work on. I've already um, pre-prepped it with gesso. To start, I'm going to take a Stabilo. Uh, this is a brown one, and I'm just kind of drawing a um, simple figure out. getting too um, fancy with it. I'm just kind of doing a simple grow with some funky hair and a little dress. Now I'm taking the black stabilo and I'm just kind of making some funky marks. I'll add some water to that just to kind of blur those harsher lines there and then just kind of work it out a little bit. Now I'm um, adding some water to those brown gesso lines as well. Now I'm going to add some paint. Um, this is green gold I think and um, Just spreading it across the ground there. I'm using green gold and um, yellow green on that bottom part. And then now I'm adding some um, light blue for the background on um, around this girl here. I'm just roughly adding it, adding some white, just kind of, I don't know, just laying it down. And then I'm kind of blending it into the other side of the page. Um, just so that it's not so stark one color and the, another so I'm adding little marks to the other side and that is a um, it's The botanical dyed papers that I have on that other side there All right now I'm filling in some spaces here with that blue Now I'm go back in with some um, of a yellow green it's a brighter green and then I'm um, also the green gold just kind of I like to use two different colors just because some, it just makes it not so flat sometimes so I like it adding little splats splashes of green up into the scenery too um, no particular reason just doing it um, and then I'm going to take a finer brush and I'm adding some nickel azo gold to her face, her arms, and her legs. This is when I noticed I forgot to hit the blue behind her arms too. Dabbing off, I had too much paint there so I just took a tissue and Add some off there. Now I'm taking a finer brush and I'm going to add some flowers so that I'm just drawing the stems, stems, sorry, um, to prepare for some flowers. I'm not doing anything fancy, just doing some little leaves here. I live in Alaska. So everything is fireweed or daisies with me. So um, this one is going to be fireweed, I think. You'll notice I work upside down a lot. I, it's just how I work. Um, for me, it's just easier to get in there. So I tip the, I, you'll see me frequently flip my journal upside down. So now I'm gonna add um, the flowers to those stems. And so I'm getting some mauve and adding in some little um, blooms to the fireweed stems.
Now here, I'm just adding this stuff very roughly in there because I always go back in with my Posca pin and it saves the day. So I just kind of roughly add some um, color down and then I go in later with the Posca pin. Here, my um, paintbrush kind of got away from me, and so um, it was really nice to have that the freedom that I know that I'm going to go back in with the Posca pin because um, that one tur didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. I'm going to go back in and add some white in here just to give it some varied color. Now we're flipping it back right side, and I'm going to match that mauve with some I'm, I'm diluting it down with some white and matching it to her dress that is um, what I'm painting with is a um, top of a paintbrush that fell off I love using those I just keep them broken off and dying but I still salvage them and use just the tip of them I actually use the stick too. I'm not getting too precious here. I'm just kind of laying down some color, having some fun with it, and just kind of um, enjoying myself. Now I am doing going to go in and, and um, add some color to her hair. I remember thinking, my hair keeps going gray, so I added some gray marks to her hair, just for fun. I kind of like to go a little flowy and free with the hair just because if you don't, that's all that notice that you notice is like this block on the hair. So I just keep it pretty free. Here I'm adding a little doodle at the dress. Um, adding a little shadow. pause this to let it dry now I'm adding that blue behind her arms where I messed up now what I'm doing this is in the morning and I usually try to do some journaling in the morning and so I just journaled in the background of this of the sky here and just did some free um, writing just like stream of consciousness just kind of keep letting it flow um, it also gives um, some interest to the background and um, checks off that box of let's journal today. So I wasn't finished with my thoughts. I had to turn the journal around several times to get it all in. There we go. Now I'm going in and adding some um, marks to her face and neck and her arms. And then I'm gonna pull out my magic pins. I these are just magic, because Posca pins just make everything better. Promise, I promise they do. So just adding some more marks. Definition to her legs and her arms and now I'm going to go over these flowers lately I've been trying to um, loosen up on my pens and um, my um, brushes and that kind of thing and even my, like my pencils just kind of trying to move my hand further back 
And as you can see, I'm still struggling with this, but it um, helps me stay a little, um, keeps my art a little looser and not so, ugh, I don't know. So it's, 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 it's a work in progress, I guess I should say. Now I always go back over things with the black pen as well. Now I'm pulling out some um, happy scraps of these happy tab, those um, scrappy tags, tabs that I sew and I'm trying to find the perfect one to attach here. This was an afterthought, so we'll see if it works. And there I found something. So I'll stitch it. There you go. The layout is complete. Hope you enjoyed it.